Very good. Brittany Flower, David Brooke, that gratitude guy. Today we are doing a gratitude podcast during the pandemic to get a little bit of a flavor from different people about how they're handling things, their reaction to it, their ways of coping and so forth. So I have two basic questions. And by the way, Brittany Flower is the member relations director at the Columbia Power Club where I'm a member. So thank you so much for being on the podcast today. Thanks so, for having me, David. You bet. Thank you, Brittany. So Brittany, what is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? It's an excellent question. Um, I have definitely started drinking more coffee, which is wild. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, honestly, I, I think just staying calm. I have mm. made a very conscious decision to stay calm. And it has been in all sorts of arenas. So the few times that I've gone to the grocery store, which I'm trying hard not to, um, you know, I, I watch all the, the frantic people and energy around me and I just try really hard to stay calm and, you know, mm. lend a helping hand when I see somebody struggling still staying my six feet away. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, just, just trying to make a conscious effort in um, not being reactive, but just, like you know, that. keeping my like calm that. energy because um, there's, there's a lot going on right now and yes. a lot of frantic people that are scared and, um, you know, I'm scared too, but staying calm is a decision that I'm making. And so far it's helping a lot. That's excellent. You and I were just talking about Staying calm. I like that we were, you and I were just talking about you can make a decision to be up or down, positive or negative, grateful or ungrateful or whatever it might be. And so making that decision to stay calm during this uh, crazy time is really, really, really smart. So uh, great. Thank you. And second question is, so during these uncertain times, what are you the most grateful for? Oh, goodness. I, well, we were talking a little bit. I'm very grateful for technology. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, also just... I'm very grateful that I have a family and that I have people in my life and dogs. I, I have, um, I have bodies around me and there are people that, that don't, there are people that are isolated and, um, and that makes me very sad for them. And, you know, sometimes it's so easy to complain about the people that are around you, but oh my goodness, I'm just so thankful that I have people around me and that I have a community, um, that, you know, I can, I can be with, we're in the same household, so um, we're, we're uh, nice and healthy, but um, I'm very thankful for that. And, and then the community that I get to connect with through the technology we have, so. Right, Ex yeah. gosh, excellent points. Thank you so much, being calm, remaining calm through this trying time, and then just being aware, as you say, through the technology, the people that are around you, and I know that's, uh, I've always said, uh, if you wanna help yourself, help other people. Well, you can also appreciate what other people do or don't have, and many of them don't have what you and I do, and that's something to be very grateful for, too, and whether it's the bodies, as you say, the technology, or what have you. So, anyway, great points. Well, thank you so much. You can look forward to this thank on a uh, gratitude podcast here soon, but thank you for being a, uh, a participant, and we will chat, we will chat soon. Thanks, David. You bet.